This is Kabul today. People are freely using mobile phones to talk to their friends and relatives all across the country. It was unthinkable 10 years ago as the country was recovering from years of war. During the Taliban regime, there were just a handful of public telephone booths to make international calls. Today, the country's four main operators share around 18 million mobile phone subscribers. It's not just mobile phones. Internet cafes and games parlors like these have sprung up across Kabul. We can have the great opportunities to talk with our friends, families abroad in the country and within the country with ourselves uh, via social networks and other uh, communication. Afghanistan even boasts of 3G connection. The government hopes to spread internet using the high-speed 3G network. The telecom sector has attracted nearly $1.8 billion of foreign investment. Last year, the government earned a revenue of $190 million from telecom sector. It says the boom in the industry has also generated nearly 200,000 jobs. The telecom revolution here in this country has not only enabled the people to communicate with each other, it has also triggered economic growth and attracted foreign investment. But the question is, how far this will be sustainable after the end of 2014 when most of the foreign forces will leave this country. The worsening security situation is a worry for foreign investors. But the government is persuading them to stay. Uh, we can assure the, the investors uh, uh, to come to the country to invest and also we will assure the existing investors uh, in the sector uh, to keep their continuity beyond 2014 and um, uh, keep uh, investing in the, in the sector and expand their services to the people of Afghanistan. These are uncertain times in Afghanistan, but the fast-growing communications network is one of the few success stories in the war-torn country. Afghans hope the opportunity doesn't slip away. Anbarasinati Rajan, BBC News, Kabul.